Hey friends, so I think I figured this out even better this time around. Um, I got my microphone, I got my webcam set up, and I think that this is gonna work even better than last time. I was having some issues with audio quality. So here we go. I'm gonna open my first pack ever of Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Let me know what you think about the theme, if you've played, uh, what your thoughts are. Um, so it's my first pack, and I'm not sure how I feel about the Western theme in the Magic World, but here we go. Let's check it out. Sometimes I struggle with these, but no, it seems to get right open. Here we go. First card we have here is, oh, Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Oh, it's these like art cards that come at the, the top in some of the packs. So this is kind of cool, a little Western dude with a golden signature, that's fun. And the first card we have is the Lonely Aria, Ar Arroyo. I'm not really sure what that means. It sounds like some sort of water body terminology. So that is a land desert. Um, so Lonely Arroyo enters the battlefield tapped. When Lonely Arroyo enters the battlefield, please correct me on how to say that, it deals one damage to target opponent and you can add white or blue. Okay, so I think maybe the corner of the card is getting cut off. Let me just fix this a little. There we go. In case I have mana colors you guys want to see. Here we go. We have Prairie Dog, which is a creature squirrel with lifelink. Always love me some lifelink. These are some interesting looking cards. I feel like this pack is... A really I'm starting with our I think a rare here at the beginning of the, your end step if you haven't cast a spell from your hand this turn or put a plus one plus one counter on prairie dog uh, four and a white until end of turn if you would put one or more plus one plus one counters on a creature you control put that many plus one plus one counters on it instead okay here we have this really cool art. It looks like an old Western wanted poster called Thornado, which uh, is two and a green. I really, really am loving that art. I'm kind of surprised right now. Uh, destroy target creature with flying, cycling one and a green, discard this card and draw a card. That is really cool. Always being able to knock out some flying is good, but I'm confused because right at the beginning of the pack here, I have a gold old little symbol right there so I feel like I don't know what's going on here but um, we have a Hellspur Posse Boss which is a creature a lizard rogue other outlaws you control have haste um, assassins mercenaries pirates rogues and warlocks are outlaws very cool they have a whole list of outlaws uh, when Hellspur Posse Boss enters the battlefield create two one one red mercenary creature tokens with tap target creature you control gets plus one plus zero until end of turn activate only as a sorcery all right so next we have a servant of the stinger a creature warlock with death touch i'm loving this lots of death touch things in the desert i guess whenever a servant of the stinger deals combat damage to a player if you've committed a crime this turn ooh, i don't know what that mechanism is yet but if you've committed a crime this turn you may sacrifice servant of the stinger if you do search your library for a card put it into your hand and then shuffle all right next we have rise of varmints so i'm just cutting that off a bit there but sorcery creature X21 green varmint creature tokens where X is the number of creature cards in your graveyard and I might have read that wrong create X two ones so that's pretty um, exciting where X is the number of creature cards in your graveyard that seems like a pretty good card I might consider putting that in my in my deck uh, plot two in a green you may pay two in a green and exile this card from your hand cast it as a sorcery on a later turn without paying its mana cost plot only as a sorcery that is really interesting as well because you could pay for it now get it out of your hand and um or at least into the exiled world and then cast it later um just bring it right in when you have maybe a ton of creatures in your graveyard so that's that's really interesting i am all my symbols are silver i i'm like what happened here did i i'm not that familiar with how magic packs work but i don't usually get this many of this kind of I don't know what's going on, <laughs> but Outcaster Greenblade. When Outcaster Greenblade enters the battlefield, search your library for a basic land card or a desert card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle. Outcaster Greenblade gets plus one, plus one for each desert you control. Okay, that's kind of cool. So um, here we have Intimidation Campaign, which is a blue-black. When Intimidation Campaign enters the battlefield, each opponent lo loses excuse me, one life. You gain one life, and you draw a card. Whenever you commit a crime, you may return Intimidation Campaign to its owner's hand. 
I really want to find out what this whole like commit a crime situation is in this uh, this series. I'm really intrigued. Uh, corrupted conviction. As an additional cost to cast this spell, sacrifice a creature. Draw two cards. Vengeful townsfolk. Here we go. Creature human citizen. Whenever one or more other creatures you control die, put a plus one plus one counter on vengeful townsfolk. This is really cool. The art on this is really cool. It's super Western, but it is really keeping to the theme of magic, it seems. I'm not like taken aback by it. Um, so this is kind of, kind of cool so far. Now we have Seize the Secrets. This spell costs one less to cast if you've committed a crime this turn. Targeting opponents, anything they control, and or cards in their graveyard is a crime. So it seems like they are um, defining crime here. I'm going to read that again. Targeting opponents, anything they control, and or cards in their graveyards is a crime. Draw two cards. Now we have Nizumi Linkbreaker, which is interesting for a Western theme. We have this kind of rodent rat warlock which is kind of cool when nuzumi uh link breaker dies create a 1-1 red mercenary creature token with tap target creature you control gets plus one plus zero until end of turn activate only as a sorcery all right so next we have iron fist pulverizer i guess i just opened my pack backwards and didn't notice like all the good cards were at the beginning and i i worked backwards so whoopsies on that one um, Iron Fist Pulverizer, Reach Creature Giant Warrior. Uh, whenever you cast your second spell each turn, Iron Fist Pulverizer deals two damage uh, to target opponent and scry one. And then finally we have Tumbleweed Rising, which looks super cute with the art and the theme. Tumbleweed Rising! Uh, create an XX Green Elemental Creature token where X is the greatest power among creatures you control and plot to one again. So I'm liking this plot um, mechanism. Could be potentially cool for my current deck. Um, and I tend to have some big creatures with my green. Here there's a, the cost there. Um, uh, so that could be interesting. Let me know what you think about the Outlaws of Thunder Junction. It was, as I mentioned, my first time seeing the set. So let me know. Take care.